they would moan at me for not carrying like really hot plates of food because you end up burning your fingers. And then one day he told me I should just go kill myself and I was like, what? So I went and cried in the bathroom, yeah. What? That's, yeah. A, that's insane. I can't remember the reason as to why he said it, but it was really uncalled for. That, yeah, yeah. That's, that's extreme. Like you don't yeah. say stuff like that. Hello, welcome. I hope you're having a good morning, day, night, evening, whenever you're watching this. This is the Gen Z DeGeneres podcast, episode nine. I'm Red. I'm Savannah. And uh, is it 10? Oh yeah, it is 10. <laughs> it is 10. Wow, it's been a long week, forgive me. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you're becoming a bit regular now, so you're on the third episode now. Yeah. How have you been? How's, what's new with you? There's a lot new with me, but... You don't want to share details? <laughs> not going to okay, share the details yeah. of it, no. That's when you say not much. <laughs> not much, there we yeah, go. Yeah, not, not much, much yeah, then yeah. you just keep it moving. You know, so you're not that great, but you don't want to go into it. Yeah. Someone asks, how are you? You're like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, do you, do you do that? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. I think it just comes out of my mouth, to be honest. Yeah, and it's like... You don't want to bring the other person down as well with you, yeah. you know. Uh, you don't want to kill the mood. Depends on who it is, to be fair. True. As you figured that y- out the yeah, other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. it, yeah. So, yeah. We did, we thought what we were going to do today was you're just going to speak in a different language almost. We're going to talk about some different things, trending topics, and then we'll react to some stuff towards the end. So, uh, Andrew Tate was arrested this week. Let me just get up the article. So... <clears throat> says arrest warrants were issued by Westminster magistrates court on Monday for the brothers following allegations of sexual offences dating from 2012 to 2015. The brothers were arrested on Monday evening at their home near the capital of Bucharest and have since been released from custody. The pair unequivocally deny their allegations against them, their lawyer said following the hearing. So what do you, what do you think? Do, do, do you know much about Andrew Tate? Or? I, I know of Andrew Tate, but I have never watched any never of his stuff. Him. I just hear yeah. a lot of mixed opinions. Mixed People opinions. are either really for him or really hate him. What are your inner circle like? I think they don't like him very much. They don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Like I say, I can't really talk too much about it because I have no idea. Yeah. I do well, not follow him. That's good. It's good that you're you're kind of reserved and you like, well, I don't know much about him, so I'm not saying anything because some people would just jump on the bandwagon and be like, yeah, he's a misogynist, he's that. I, I, I quite like him. I do, I, I, I do, I'm not an Andrew Tate stan. Like some of his fans are like, they probably worship this guy. Yeah. He, you know, I, but overall, I think he's, I do like him. I think he's, he, for the most part, he's authentic and he gets misread a lot. I yeah. love the way he comes across in the interviews and stuff. He's actually quite respectful. But people take and they focus on the small bits where he's, he's playing a character. Yeah. But yeah, so it was actually, um, <laughs> they arrested him because, <laughs> where is it? Let me find it. So Aiden Ross or Aiden Ross, I don't know if that's the right way to say it. He made a video and Tate said in that video, that he's leaving Romania soon and he's never coming back. So because of that, they arrested him because they thought, okay, we got a... But they've since released him, obviously. Yeah. But uh, my, my opinion is like, they're, they're, there's all this controversy about him and stuff, but I, I'm, I'm a big believer in like innocent until proven guilty. They've been trying to like, um, they've been investigating this guy for a while. They haven't really found anything concrete yet. He's still under investigation, so. Yeah, that's where I come from. And, and my thing is this, these date back to like 2012 to 2015. Yeah. So why, why is it taking this long? Like why, why is, you know? I just know that they can take very long with it. I've got a mate that's got arrested in about the beginning of August and he's got an investigation going against him and they only just rang me last week to speak to me about it. The beginning of August of 2023? 2023, yeah. Wow, they've only rang you last week? Yep. What did he do? You can't I, say. I, I, no, comment. I, no, no comment on that. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. want to go into detail That's about it, it yeah. or anything like that. But I amend the fifth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's just it's just one of those things where I know it takes ages and the shit that he's had to go through waiting for just a result right. of what comes next has been ages. Right, right. And it's quite traumatic for wow. the family and everything like that, yeah. Wow. Did he do it? <laughs> you can't say I'm joking. I'm just pulling your leg. <laughs> yeah. Free Savannah's friend. Yeah. Free yeah. Savannah's friend. Yeah, let's yeah. go with that then, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I think he's been released, and to my understanding, they're saying that like after he's finished the current court case in Romania, then extradite him to the UK to sort out whoever's there. So. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how it all works. To be honest, and like I say, I'd like to comment on it, but I don't know enough about him to say yeah good things or bad things. That's fair. Yeah, um, have you? 
Where else has been going on? This is kind of old, but uh, do you see that um, Chick Fil A girl? Which one? <laughs> Which one? Uh, Not on TikTok, so if I was on that, probably not. Yeah, it did go trending. Uh, let me find it. She went viral. Yeah, I did too. Sauce. So you want a barbecue sauce? Yes. And then you want oh. a lemonade. All right. So yeah. she uh, apparently she um, apparently she got fired. Is this a video? Hang on. Really? No, it's not. People are upset with yeah. Chick-fil-A after this girl did something funny and went viral, then got fired. So this girl was just fired from working at Chick-fil-A a couple of days ago when a customer decided to start recording her while she was working. And while taking an order, this girl kind of made a funny face and the video quickly went up on TikTok. No Chick-fil-A sauce? No Chick-fil-A sauce. A lot of people found the video funny and were saying she looked like the duck from Chicken Little. But shortly after Chick-fil-A saw this video on TikTok, the store manager fired her on the spot. This is causing a lot of people to get upset about this saying she didn't do anything wrong and she was making the customers laugh and a lot of people are mentioning she wasn't even the one who was recording in the store how could she get fired but this got even worse when her tiktok account also got taken down by tiktok for no reason now some are saying the official chick-fil-a must have saw the video and decided to contact the store manager to fire her along with taking her account down no, so what's your thoughts on that i don't see what she was doing wrong yeah personally. she wasn't even the the one recording yeah, was regardless of whether or not she was mm. recording there's so many different videos where people are doing weird things or giving weird reactions to what people order yeah i don't see what's wrong with that she pulled a few yeah. faces yeah if somebody's got down syndrome or some other like disability mm. are they going to get the same treatment because they pull a face or two yeah i don't i don't see why she was fired because of that yeah. if anything that brings in business to me yeah the, i was going to get to that point i, I was going to say like um shit what was i gonna say uh i think she posted a video and she was basically saying that like chick-fil-a had a go at her saying that she's trying to profit off chick-fil-a or whatever how how is she uh, trying to profit off of chick-fil-a I, I know because someone else recorded a video and she's making funny faces and apparently that the person recording the video was her sister or something like that like they just had some kind of yeah. that's why she was putting the funny faces but to what you said about they could profit her, that's what i was thinking i was like that that's an opportunity like she just went viral organically yeah. like it's marketing it's marketing yeah. you know what i mean like that will stand out they could have her do adverts or you know social yeah. media campaigns and stuff but uh, like yeah. i don't see yeah. what she's done wrong at yeah. all in that video yeah Other for real do a few silly faces mm. that's it uh, yeah i don't see what she's done wrong i know yet. i don't even know what to say to that because i don't see how someone can get fired over it yeah something so small and, and the whole idea of like oh you're trying to profit off chick-fil-a even yeah. if that was the case for example like it's kind of like it seems like they really don't care about the person like, have you ever yeah. had that in jobs where you feel like the manager just wants you to work for them they don't want you to do your own thing on yeah. the side or you too have, often yeah yeah tell but me about quite it. a few different jobs but like yeah you probably find that as somebody higher up in the business at the same yeah that, Shit, instead, instead of the manager because the manager probably doesn't care yeah okay that's how i'd see it mm. like there's so many things that happen in hospitality and everything why get upset because someone's pulling one or two faces yeah exactly yeah i, I don't get the point so i want to use that to segue over to my next point yeah i want you to react to this i feel so sorry for the young kids of today bro do you know how hard it is to get a part-time job nowadays you know how, bro, when i was young it was hard do you know how hard it is nowadays to get a part-time job the amount of questions they ask you you're trying to work for sainsbury's you're stacking shelves and you're scanning it on an automatic scanner why is there a 17 step process online to apply for a job like that you think it was a 120 bag a year job okay so so I didn't even get to see the whole thing, Mark. They, you know, I get the point of it. They're like, yeah. yeah, they're both kind of saying the same thing, but like, yeah. what's your thoughts on that? Because so, you've been job hunting a little bit recently as well, haven't you? As someone who has tried to be... Oh, that was not English. Uh, yeah. My brain's just like gone blank. Yeah, um, yeah. As somebody who's been trying to find a job, mm -hmm. even just a part-time job or a full-time job, anything, I've been applying for co-op, I've applied for Aldi, Morrison's, yeah. like anything that comes mm. across that's like within distance of me, I will mm. apply for it. Yeah. And I don't like applying for it because you get yeah. like, so many different questions that you have to yeah. answer. Like I get that, but I'm like, why is it mm. relevant? Exactly. I've, all of my jobs that I've had is walking into the place, granted it's hospitality, mm. have a little bit of a chat, 10 minutes, and it's like, okay, yes, we've got a job, but no, you haven't got a job. Mm. That's all it is. Mm. And even nowadays, you can't just go into a place and hand in your CV. 
it all has to be done. Yeah, it all has to be like, done online. I, I've tried obviously going to places, handing in CVs, but just, nothing comes no, yeah. of it. Or, or they'll tell you just to plan online. Yeah. yeah, I got rejected from the co-op. Like, uh, yeah, it's, it's like, how many hoops do you want me to jump through yeah, <laughs> just to get this exactly. I don't, I don't, obviously they've got their reasons for why it is, they've got so many different questions and things that they have to ask you, but I don't see the, like, mm, the points of it. Mm. Um, I really don't. Yeah, but. I agree. Have you ever started an online application and then you just stopped halfway because you just thought, yeah. A lot, yeah. yeah. Or because you get, you get to like the end of it, you're like, oh, okay, cool, perfect, you're finished now. And then it's a whole different page of yeah. however many other steps that you have to do. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just, no. like, I'm available, do I have the right to work in the UK, here's my CV, that yeah, should be it. that should yeah, be yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, think, sorry, you go. Yeah, because normally you go through all those questions anyway, and then they want an in-person interview. Yeah, yeah. And then exactly, they'll ask yeah. you similar things, or it's completely mm. irrelevant. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather just yeah. take it in person, it's so stupid. Yeah. I'm thinking, like, did you even go through my application process? You're asking me these questions, yeah. Yeah, literally, I'm yeah. Just, no, I don't get the yeah. points of it, but they've obviously got their reasons for it. That's it. Why and they're, it, yeah. they're, like, for minimum wage jobs. That's what kills me. That's even worse. Yeah. Like they're acting like you're applying for NASA or something. Like, with yeah. the questions that they ask and the detail that they want you to yeah. go into. Unless you're trying to get into something like obviously being a paramedic or a lawyer or yeah, police, that that's I can understand. But yeah. you're stacking shelves mm. or working, you're not even customer oh, facing. Why do you yeah. need to know all of that? Tell me about it. Or when they like, when they say things like, oh, give me an example of when you showed good whatever, whatever leadership or this. Yeah. Like, what? I went to a recruitment event the other day and mm. they did obviously state that a 50 year old that's maybe been in the war will be able to answer that question a little bit better but they don't they won't mark you or say yes or no to you given your experience in life it's just how you can relate it so right. I can get that point of it but whenever they ask mm. questions I'm like I don't know yeah I can't tell you yeah I have no idea don't even know what I did last week <laughs> exactly yeah never mind what I did five years ago for another exactly. person yeah yeah but, uh, yeah some of our questions are too I think they're a bit personal as well yeah or when they ask you to explain why you had a gap in between your work as well so I, I mean can, yeah I can get that point yeah it's more of a just checking you weren't addicted to heroin or something like that and in a rehab mm. and that's why you've got the gap it's right. just I didn't want to work I wanted to travel or I couldn't mm. find a job yeah yeah so even that's a bit embarrassing to say you couldn't find a job but yeah but it's sometimes it's just it's the reality honesty, yeah yeah unfortunately mm. yeah but yeah no yeah it's it, yeah it's not job hunting is so stressful like it's really stressful. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm not a fan of it at the moment. I know. But I know. It is what it is. Well, okay, so what's what what's like a horror story you've had at a job? Like what's the either be from management or a customer or I worked for a race bar in South Africa. So it was like they'd have all the different races on it was like a football club as well. So it was quite big. You were serving a lot of older people and I was 16 years mm. old that was one of my first hospitality mm. jobs and yeah. that was also walk in they looked at you and like yeah that's fine so they went purely off of looks so keep in mind i was 16 years old so serving alcohol mm. which what, what's the laws in south africa you shouldn't be doing it under right. the age okay. of 18. Okay. yeah so they okay. just said if anybody asks you're 18 so i was like okay was this like a family owned no. bar or it, it was no. like commercial or just a just normal commercial bar it was a really big place wow um I forgot where I was going. I've lost my train of thought. What question did you bar, ask me? Uh, the worst like, experience. Worst bit, had, oh yeah. Yes. So, first of all, the managers were recycled quite a bit because they were just really shit. Mm. Um, and as soon as you're at a place where the managers keep getting like going, mm. then you know that you're probably not working for the best place. Uh, I don't remember exactly what he said to me. He would always like comment and say that I'm not smiling enough, despite me like doing the job. They would moan at me for not carrying like really hot plates of food because you end up burning your fingers and then one day he told me I should just go kill myself and I was like what so I went and cried in the bathroom yeah what that's yeah. A, that's insane I can't remember the reason as to why he said it but it was really uncalled for that yeah, yeah. that's that's extreme like you don't yeah. say stuff like that <laughs> no wow talk so. about going zero to a hundred like yep. but I a 16 year old girl as well exactly like. and I used to go there like on nights out quite a bit and the amount of times that you just get waitresses crying in the bathroom because wow. of things that managers have said to them. Wow. Yeah. And you know what kills me? They then wonder why their employee retention is so bad. Exactly. Yeah. Like, oh, why, is it, why, are you, why are you leaving? I still walked out one day and I said I quit because yeah. of how they were treating me and I was like, oh, I'm yeah, done with yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So just so, treat someone with respect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I bet you didn't even do anything that bad. No. And the fact is, you're 16. You, you also don't get paid in South Africa if you're doing hospitality jobs. You get paid off of tips. 
Huh? Yeah, you don't, get, no you don't get a minimum wage, you'll get paid off for tips. So you could have a day where you're working from 10 a.m. till, I think sometimes I'd leave at like two, three o'clock in the morning. And if you haven't got any tables, you don't get any money. What? Yep. Is, that, is that even legal? Like? Until after it is, yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, that, that, yeah and then you yeah, have yeah. to tip. It's not like, yeah, when tipping is an option, right. you're meant to tip. Like uh, sometimes people don't, but that's how people get paid. Yeah. It's, okay, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, if, if, you're, if some of the waitresses get no like base rate, I'm not surprised. Yeah. yeah. But you can make that's a decent insane. amount of money off of it. Just tips. I mean, yeah, because okay. they're all really friendly. And obviously if it's a whole bunch of older men drinking all day then, yeah. and you're a pretty young girl, they're going to give you good right. tips. But okay. if it's yes. really quiet, yes. then what do you do? There's nothing. So. That's difficult. Yeah. Did you have a lot of shifts like that where you didn't get any anything? Not too many. Okay. There were a few of them, but I would try and make it so, obviously as I was in school, so I'd work mostly over the weekends. Mm. But then it just becomes stressful because when the football's on and everybody's watching it you don't even you can't remember half the time where that person is or where that table is and mm. who ordered what oh, okay i see yeah but i mean i did it right i enjoyed it but it's just i like being active and walking around and moving right so. okay yeah, yeah now ask me my horror story there we go what's your horror story and what? oh thank you for asking you're, you're welcome yeah. no worries um <laughs> to be honest mine isn't even as bad as yours like yeah. i mean to, for, for someone to tell you to you should go and kill yourself that's so insensitive especially yeah. to a 16 year old girl i think how are you a grown-ass man saying that but yeah whatever and you never know what someone's going through mentally as well yeah like I, I was might, quite depressed at that stage so yeah. it wasn't great to yeah care. exactly yeah yeah and that might be what's what could have been affecting your performance and he doesn't yeah. know that he just exactly just assumes yeah yeah but yeah so i think i was working at amazon at the time this was um um i'm trying to think of the timeline i think 2021 we were still in like lockdown restrictions and stuff and there was a warehouse, there was an Amazon warehouse. That was like the only job I could get at the yeah. time because obviously everything else had just shut down. And then, um, I mean, to be fair, I have a few stories, but this is the first one that comes off the top of my head. And uh, it's annoying because for one, they, first of all, like the training wasn't that good. Like they just, oh yeah, here's how you do things. Off you go. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, what? And then they, it's almost like they would get annoyed when you would ask questions. Like, and then, um, Obviously, they're doing like under restrictions, right? So they would have precautions. You you couldn't be too close. You have to like two meters apart from each other. Yeah. But they would still expect you to do things very fast. So it's like you can't really have both. Like yeah. you can't expect me to follow these laws, but also go very fast. And uh, we we basically go for breaks, right? And then uh, you'd, you'd like half the staff would go have their half an hour break then after that the other the rest of the staff would go half an hour yeah. have their half hour straight after and uh, to be honest they weren't even that for the most part a lot of the managers they weren't even that stressed on time like as long as you were gone for 30 minutes it didn't really matter I, I had taken a lot of breaks when I wanted and it was like I would always make sure I was back in time it was I only kept it to 30 minutes I didn't take liberties or anything like that yeah and then uh, I would always have my break slightly later because if if you have it early it's almost like you have a second shift yeah you break up the day a bit better yeah, yeah exactly and then I remember one time I was outside right and then one of the one of the managers or one of the top guys he's there and he's like he comes up to me and he's like oh what, what's your name and I'm, I'm like yeah my name's so and so and I'm thinking he's about to have like small talk or whatever he's like what are you doing out here why are you here and, and he's like proper going off on me I was like oh I'm just having a break and he's like who, who told you you can go for a break now did you tell a manager and he's like what else did he say like yeah your co-workers are in there and they're working and this and he's got like a vein popping out of the yeah. top of his head he's like proper yeah. angry and I was, I was like whoa man and then he even said to me he was like you know, I can make a phone call right now and I can make sure you never work at another Amazon job again. Yeah. I was like, whoa, man, this guy went from zero to 100 real quick, yeah. man. Like, it's not that deep. You could have just said, hey, listen, um, uh, you, next, you're already here now, finish off your break, but next time make sure I you manage go with the rest, yeah. you go with the rest, yeah, yeah. But man went from zero to 100, so I went home and I was like, um, you know what? I, you don't even worry about it. I, I'll do you a favor. You only, I can't even say it. Don't worry about sleep. not making. Yeah, I just basically I couldn't even get out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I just left. Yeah, yeah. finished off that. Shit. I did. I was nice enough to finish that shit, but I was yeah. like, don't stress Sweet. about making yeah. sure I don't work here again because I'm just not going to work here again. And yeah. 
Yeah. Fair enough. I, I use Amazon as a customer, but then working there is, is really Work, bad. Warehouse work is terrible. Warehouse work. I hated it. So. Uh, and the way they treat their uh, drivers and where they've got a history of that. Really. So yeah, Amazon they they violate there a lot of like social like, violations and stuff. The way they treat their staff. So yeah, it, it's it's proper convenient. I've got Prime and I order stuff off Amazon. Of course. But do. as a worker, it's and I must say Jeff Bezos. He just he just looks like an evil bastard. Like if you if you picture like Doctor Evil and Lex Luthor, that's yeah, him. That's him. Okay, good he's, to know. He's even got the evil laugh. You're like <laughs> something like that. Okay, well, voice crack then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a bit Santa anyway. <laughs> anyway, oh, shit, we're wrapping up on time. Yeah. So I I was just talking. I didn't that's even get okay. any, like, a chance that's to fine. talk much today. Yeah. But thank you for coming. You're on welcome. Anyway. Thanks for having me. Appreciate that. We'll bring you again next time. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. See ya.